All right, guys, today I wanted to talk about building new habits. Now, before we get into that, I wanna say we, I think, are on day something like 11 or 12 in a row. My goal is to upload every single day until the end of the year. And when I started 11 days ago, 12 days ago, it was 112 days till the end of the year. And now we're almost to that 100 day mark or we're there, I don't know, I'm off by like one or two days. Either way, it's not super important, but I'm just happy with the progress that I've already made. And I thought that that would be good inspiration for today's video as I have already kind of ha like started a new habit and you guys can witness me continue to work on that. So um, yeah, just know that if you're new to the channel, you know, come check out the check out the journey, check out some of the old videos. And anyway, let's go ahead and jump into it. So over the last month or so, I've really been working to change kind of how I've gone about doing things and being a lot more intentional about how I do things and focusing more on the future and building it small, like one brick at a time type thing, one little step at a time to ensure that I can get there. So here's what i've kind of really got uh so for example one of the more challenging things that i'm trying to work on is not mindlessly scrolling on my phone that is one of my biggest time wasters one of my biggest like detriments um to my success is i will sit on my phone and goof off for way too long so I've implemented a couple of rules in order to kind of get better. And so anytime we want to break a bad habit in order to replace it with a new positive habit, there's a few things that you have to do. Number one, you have to be able to um, put in new kind of new structure, right? So for example, for me, right? I'll sit on my phone in the bathroom, like getting ready in the morning or all like, you know, sit here and play on my phone like laying in bed or at work, I'll sit at my desk and for 10 or 15 minutes, I can play on my phone. So knowing that those are my times where it's typically hardest for me to not play on my phone, I've gone, I don't, I'm not allowed to be on my phone laying in bed, period. It does not matter. Like I cannot be on my phone in bed. The other thing I do is when I'm getting ready for work or I'm, you know, in the bathroom doing whatever is a good time where I can lean up against the counter and I'm just like playing on my phone and it's like, yo, stop, like get off your phone. Like I, there'll be times where I'm getting ready for work. I'm leaning up against the counter, needing to get dressed, brush my teeth, whatever. And it's like 10 minutes later, I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, I got to get ready. It's like 10 minutes of just nothing. So what I've decided to do is I will put my phone under the hand towel in the morning. I set it on the counter. I set the hand towel on top of it and I just am not allowed to be on my phone. Now I do give myself grace that in the mornings, I also want to start my day by planning my, you know, my to-do list or whatever. So if I think of something, I will then pull my phone out, go on my to-do list, type it in, put my phone back down, put the towel back on top of it. Now this, the, another example is um, when I'm working <clears throat> or when I'm working out, excuse me, I wanted to start reading more and I always can get to the gym and work out and lift weights, right? But doing cardio or, you know, reading, I was like, I can't do those. So what I've decided to do is before I'm allowed to work out, before I do what I really, really want to do, I must first hop on the treadmill. That's 30 minutes of cardio plus I'll read right walking on an incline if you're trying to lose some fat you, you want to burn some calories you want to keep muscle whatever a great option is walking while you know doing cardio or like before I would check emails and do cardio um, so now it's like a time where I can lock in sometimes I'll use it to be a little bit more productive get through some emails or plan uh, the to-do list or plan my workout so there's sometimes there's certain things I'll do uh, you know pay some bills whatever but for the most part the goal is hop on the treadmill 30 minutes 
and 30 minutes of reading, right? Sometimes it's a little less. Sometimes I, I do things for about 10 minutes, always productive. But that way I'm always doing cardio, which is something I want to do and always reading. Sometimes it's a little less than 30 minutes, but the idea behind it is that we are replacing bad habits or just no habits with a way to be effective and productive. Hopefully giving you a little bit of this information will help you make some better habits. Let me know down in the comments what you guys are trying to potentially work on as far as habits and how you're trying to uh, go about building habits. And then again, uh, I think the biggest thing is consistency. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.